So this video is to help with revising the idioms of the week that we've been studying this term in class. So you'll be able to hear it pronounced correctly and the meaning and also an example sentence. So the first one we learned is this one, hit the sack. So this means to go to bed in order to sleep, to hit the sack hit the sack, hit the sack. So for example, I'm really tired after a long day, I'm going to hit the sack. Then we had get itchy feet, to get itchy feet, to get itchy feet. This means to start to want to travel or do something different. So you're a bit restless and you want to try something different or go traveling. For example, after three years in the job, she began to get itchy feet. The next one is to be on the same page. To be on the same page. To be on the same page. It just means to be in agreement or to be thinking in the same way. So for example, before we begin with the discussion, I want to make sure that all of us are on the same page. The next one is to pull a plug. To pull a plug. Pull a plug. This means to stop something from continuing or prevent something from happening. So for example, the company pulled the plug on their deal because it was not satisfied with the contract. The ball's in your court. The ball's in your court. The ball's in your court. So this idiom means it's time for someone to deal with a problem or make a decision because other people have already done as much as they, they can. So for example, I've helped him in every way I can. The ball's in his court now. The sky's the limit. The sky's the limit. The sky's the limit. So we use this idiom to say that there is no limit and that anything is possible. For example, you can, ch you can achieve anything if you really want to. The sky's the limit. Make ends meet. To make ends meet make ends meet. This simply means to have just enough money to pay for the things that you need. So we often use it in the negative, like in this example. It's not easy to make ends meet with a big family, but somehow we manage. To see eye to eye with someone. See eye to eye to see eye to eye. If you see eye to eye with someone, it means you have the same views about something. So for example, he is looking for a new job as he does not see eye to eye with his manager. Better luck next time. Better luck next time. Better luck next time. You say this idiom when you want to tell someone that you hope that they will succeed when they try again. So for example, I'm sorry to hear that you failed your driving test. Better luck next time. Once in a blue moon. Once in a blue moon. Once in a blue moon. This idiom means not very often or rarely. So for example, my sister lives in Tasmania, so I only see her 
Once in a Blue Moon. To burn your bridges. To burn your bridges. Burn your bridges. This idiom means to do or say something, usually bad, that will make it impossible to ever return to that situation or circumstance. So for example, I burned my bridges when I quit my job in anger. I don't think they will ever welcome me back there. It's like riding a bike. It's like riding a bike. It's like riding a bike. We use this idiom to say that something is easy to remember. How to do something even after a long time. So for example, I was surprised that I could remember how to knit after all these years. I guess it's like riding a bike. Cut somebody some slack. Cut somebody some slack. To cut somebody some slack. This means to treat someone in a less harsh or less critical way. For example, Andrew's late again. Cut him some slack. His wife has just had a baby. Go cold turkey. Go cold turkey. Go cold turkey. This has a couple of meanings. The first one is to stop doing something suddenly and completely. So for example, I quit drinking cold turkey 10 years ago and I've never looked back. So that's the first meaning. And a second meaning is to try something new without any preparation. So for example, I've never been water skiing before, but on my last holiday, I decided to try it, cold turkey. Face the music. Face the music. Face the music. This idiom means to accept criticism or punishment for something that you have done. For example, the children broke the window while playing and had to face the music when their parents returned home. Cut corners. Cut corners. Cut corners. This means to do something in the easiest, cheapest or fastest way. For example, when the boss found out that the accounting department was cutting corners, they fired them all. Feel like a million dollars. To feel like a million dollars. Feel like a million dollars. This idiom means to look or feel really good. For example, since I got my new haircut, I feel like a million dollars. Get your act together. To get your act together. Get your act together. This means to start to organize yourself so that you do things in an effective way. For example, his new boss has given him one month to get his act together or he will lose his job. Beyond the rocks. Beyond the rocks. Beyond the rocks. This idiom means that something is likely to fail soon. Usually a relationship, a marriage or a business. For example, I think their marriage is on the rocks. Hang in there. Hang in there. Hang in there. 
This is used to encourage someone to persist or stay calm in a difficult situation. For example, hang in there. It usually takes six months to find a good job. No pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. This idiom means it is necessary to work hard in order to achieve results or to be successful. For example, the saying, no pain, no gain, is the key to my success and always inspires me to work harder. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. This is something you say when the person you are talking about appears unexpectedly. For example, did you hear what happened to Mary today? Oh, speak of the devil. There she is. It's the last straw. It's the last straw. It's the last straw. This idiom means that it is the last tolerable thing after which something cannot be accepted. In other words, you've had enough and you're fed up and you can't handle it anymore. For example, the last straw in their relationship was when she found out he had been unfaithful. The best of both worlds. The best of both worlds. The best of both worlds. This idiom means a situation in which you can enjoy the advantages of two very different things at the same time. So for example, she works in the city and lives in the country, so she gets the best of both worlds. To stab someone in the back. Stab someone in the back. Stab someone in the back. This idiom means to betray or deceive someone who trusts you. For example, you're going to love working here. Everyone's really nice and you do not have to worry about anyone stabbing you in the back. <laughs>